All right, guys, Chef Craig here again, back in the How to Cook Like a Beijing Kitchen. And we're on to a nice Beijing seasoned chicken salad. Chicken, we already seasoned it before, and we're going to butterfly it now and then into a hot saute pan. So, we turn the chicken. While it's finishing up, let me let you know who's responsible for this episode of How to Cook Like a, like a Beijing. Swiss. Swiss mayonnaise this time. Swiss honey mustard. Obviously, Massey stores because that chicken from Massey, all of the fresh produce from Massey, even the sweet potato that we can make, the sweet potato crisp with. So, I want to say thank you to all of them. And obviously, blue flames and saw gas, yeah? It's ready, cause it's thinly cut. You look for this one a little thicker, it's staying there as we're looking for. Chicken finish, just sitting there cooling. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna get our vegetables prepped. So slice our tomatoes, Dice our onions, pan ready, onions in. So you know which butter we got? Anchor, butter. And we got the unsalted, so you can add your salt to soup, yeah? Good, so we go in there, caramelization going on. Get a little fresh thyme as well. Let's get a couple of sprigs in there. I'm gonna cook those, let them get a little tender. All right. Tomatoes, a little salt. I wanna get a little close. Looking good, smelling right, nice caramelization. Tomatoes, still got a little bite, but got a little tenderness. Onions, softer, sweeter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then a nice anchor butter in there, just coating everybody together. Smells good. So we put all of our wet ingredients into our mixing bowl. Swiss mayo, and the mustard. We go to the brown sugar and black pepper, etc. Lime juice. I gotta say thank you, obviously, to the nation for having us back here in How to Cut Like a Beja Kitchen. Obviously the Massey, Swiss, and everybody else involved Anchor butter, putting on a good session. We got a lot more coming. We're gonna chop some parsley, some fresh dill, and some spring onions, which we call them barbecue. We call them chives. All right, dressing all finished. You know the chicken's still cooling now for there. That good and happy. Tomatoes, onions finished. So now we're gonna move in to the sweet potato. And I purposely did not bring a mandolin, which is a Japanese slicer. I'm gonna do this by hand. So if I fail, I can still try my best to make sure it's as good as possible. All right, so after the slice and then the very thin trivia, which we call a chiffonade, now we're gonna fry it to crisp. Golden brown, but not too dark. You know the sweet potato has a nice frying capacity, so it Cooks quickly because it's drier, not watery or sugary like the English potato. MassiCard credit card has gone digital. Download the new eWallet by MassiCard app that gives MassiCard credit card holders more power to scan to pay, earn Massey points, send credit, Thanks, man. pay bills, and so much more. That's awesome. Easy, instant, and secure from your smartphone. Go digital with the free eWallet by MassiCard app. Now available on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Time to get everybody together. 
quick chop on the chicken. It's into strips and into cubes. Into the bowl. Next thing. So it's time to put it all together. Dress in. We want it coated, but we don't want it overdone. Make your own adjustments. <laughs> You gotta do one thing here now before you go any further. I'm gonna start up with some local lettuce, believe it or not, compliments Massey stores. I just had as a salad, so you need those greens. They can do something, don't worry. Good. Should we go right on top? That is nice. Next step, a little bit of spring onions, a little bit of pepper got me. I can make it through, don't worry. Some underneath, now we can get our sweet potato. A nice crispy crunch to our salad. I love what we see, and a little more green onions. Right on top. And there you have it, a nice summer chicken salad. Thanks, Swiss. Thanks, Massey. And obviously, thank you, Hold a Cut Like a Beijing. I'm going to see you in the next episode for another wonderful Hold a Cut Like a Beijing recipe. Compliment Chef Craig. Keep you and your family safe with Sol Gas. Here are some helpful tips to keep you and your family safe when cooking with Sol Gas. Never tamper with the cylinder and only use the Sol approved regulator and a hose designed for use with LPG. Securely connect the regulator to the cylinder valve until it clicks into place and is properly fastened and secured. It is important to check the hose clips and the rubber hose to ensure they are in good working condition and properly secured. It is important to check your hose and regulator and change them as needed. Change your rubber hose every two years. Change your regulator every five years. If there are signs of damage to your regulator, contact an approved Sol gas distributor or a Sol service station for replacement immediately. Safety first with Sol gas.